Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with our first break of 2016-17 Panini Spectra Basketball. It's a three box, half case break. Pick your team number one from jazbeeshobbyland.com. It's our last break of the night, so we're doing our first Spectra break as the final break of the evening. Thank you so much everyone for, uh, for rallying around and getting this break done on a Wednesday night, new release night. I'm sure we'll do a lot more of this over the next few days. Brian Evans stepping up to the plate with the Denver Nuggets. Knocking one out of the park. Or I guess stepping up to the free throw line with the game on the line. And just coolly and calmly knocking down free throws like, like it was nothing. Like it was like Saturday at the park. All right, let's pop this guy open. So there's six boxes per case. We're going to see which half we're going to do. We're going to do either the left side or the right side. One, two, three for the left side. Four, five, six for the right side using this. Rolls all the way to the back. That's a six. So we'll be doing the left side. This right side, uh, sorry, the right side that is. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this will be break two. So I'll mark it two. So we know it's for next time. There we go. Bro would asking me if I like, if I'm a fan of KD at all. Well, I don't I have I have zero problems with Kevin Durant. Why should I have a problem with Kevin Durant? I'm a Lakers fan. <laughs> Alright, good luck everybody. Yeah, I like Kevin Durant. I mean you know I don't I, I don't think anything and anyone's actually mad that he left the Thunder. You know? I don't think anyone's mad at him at that. You know, he was an unrestricted free agent. He had the right to go wherever he wanted to go. Of course, where he went, I think, was the big issue, you know. But he really took the, he really took to heart the saying, if you can't beat him, join him. And he did. I think people challenged his, uh, his competitive spirit. I think that's what it was. But, hey, every man is different. And he has the right to do whatever he wants to do. I would, I mean, would I have done it that way? I don't know, but and we'll see. We'll see what it does for does legacy wise, but it doesn't matter. He's got a chip now. Okay, here we go. Uh, Michael Kidd Gilchrist leads us off. Use that blank card to kind of slow play some of the hits. Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Nice. So it looks like the base cards, the regular base cards are not numbered. Any non-California sport team that I root for, asks Chris Dunn. Uh, Liverpool Football Club in Northern England. That goes to Charlotte. That'll go to Chris Beck. Otherwise, no. <laughs> no, I do not love the Chiefs. Right here. Let's... Fake news, X-Line, fake news. Kawhi Leonard, Spurs, 20 out of 49. Love the look of these. That will go to one of my rivals, Jimmy LaFleur with the San Antonio Spurs. The 120 top loaders. Secure these pretty snugly for those of you watching at home. Spectacular swatches, Mike Connolly. Had a pretty solid season for the Grizz. 47 out of 99. Our first relic, our first hit for the Grizz, James S. More Mike Conley. If we find a one of one, we may have to start a rainbow, James. It might just be a requirement at that point. I was born in Ohio, 
So I do have sort of a, a somewhat soft spot in my heart for for Cleveland sports teams, but otherwise, no, I don't really root for any other team, though. Pretty loyal to my teams. Next era, Bryce Johnson, Relic. Uh, 25 out of 99 for the Clip Show. He might be the only one left there for the Clippers, Alex Donnelly. <laughs> um... Yeah, no, I, I don't. I don't think I'm. I'm the kind of. Per I know a lot of people have. Oh, my second favorite team is, or my AFC team is this. My, you know, I don't really. My AL team, my NL team. I don't really do that. No people do. Diamond Stone, spectacular swatches, jersey and auto, or first autograph, right on the card for the Los Angeles Clippers. Twenty-five out of forty-nine. Clippers losing Chris Paul. Probably gonna lose Blake Griffin. Who's gonna be left? Diamond Stone. Get your Diamond Stone jerseys. Clippers are also trying to, um, in I think maybe the next three, three to five years, they're trying to build a new st a new arena near closer to the new football stadium, the new Rams football stadium. Next one is nice for the Pelicans. Sheik Diallo. Great patch, neon green. That is awesome. Bottom left hand corner, or bottom right hand corner, sixteen out of twenty five is the number. Pelicans going to Rory. Nice. Nice looking one, Rory. Next is Spectacular Swatches, Denzel Valentine. Jersey and autograph. 24 out of 49. Nice. Few more to go. There's Marquise Chris. Rising Stars, jersey and autograph. 178 out of 199. Phoenix Suns. Donald Brazier with the Suns. Suns could be a pretty scary team. I, I would love to see some of those old Suns-Lakers battles again. That would make me happy. All right, and the last one here. Locked in K Felder, jersey and autograph for the Cavs. 132 out of 199. Look at that focus in his eyes. Cavs, Michael Van Wyn. All right, that was box number one. Box two, this is just a quick little three box break, half case break, so if you wanna buy uh, your team in a full case, you just gotta buy whatever team you want in um, number one and two, then three and four, and five and six. I do too, Z Spot. It's a very solid product. I enjoy it. Any sport, right? Exactly. Any sport. Soccer, football. I should do baseball at some point. Manuel Moutier. Nuggets. It's a base card, Brian Evans, but getting warmer. There we go. Rockets edition of Lou Williams. 42 out of 49. Nice. Neon pink for James. And the Rockets was like, I believe, third place in sixth man of the year voting. Was on the Lakers for a minute or two. Really liked his play, his energy when he was in LA, but Lakers needed first round picks. He had to go. It's one of their best assets at the time. Catalysts, Deron Williams, three-color patch for the Cavs. Five out of 25 in that classic Cavs blue and silver trim. It goes to the Cavs, Michael Van Wy.
Ah, neon blue. More Deron Williams catalysts. Sixteen out of ninety-nine. I'm a fan of that design this year. Every year, Spectre just gets better and better. I, I like that sort of, sort of shattered glass or geometric shape background there. There's Next Era, Malik Beasley, Nuggets, Brian Evans with a hit, 5 out of 49. Yeah, no, uh, I certainly think it was the patch when he was on the, on the Mavs. It's just funny to see, like, the picture of him, and then you see, like, the color right there. 5 out of 49, Brian Evans, last ball mojo with a little hit. Um, I'm happy with Lonzo Ball. It was pretty obvious that we were going to take him. From the whole time. Isaiah Whitehead, Brooklyn Nets. Uh, that will go to Peter Eng with Brooklyn. 252 out of 300. Of oh, D'Angelo Williams there. For the Houston Rockets, Onuaku, neon blue, bubbles background. It's like 67 out of 99 in that bottom right-hand corner. Houston Rockets, James S. You want to see him on a stream with a big baller hat by the end of the year? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to spend like $80 on a big baller hat. <laughs> I mean, business would have to go extremely well for that to, to even cross my mind. Torin Prince, Atlanta Hawks, nice on-card auto, spectacular swatches. That is a nice-looking swatch. 122 out of 149. That goes to the Atlanta Hawks. Another one for James. James on the board. No, I think Chris Beck has the Hornets. Jacob Allen has the Heat. Have not seen either. I think there was like a base, a Hornets base card at the very beginning. And that's been about it. But you never know. Oh, Timberwolves, rising star. Zach Levine. Jersey and autograph. 27 out of 199. He's gonna former UCLA guy. He'll he went to uh, he went to Chicago, right? In that Jimmy Butler trade. Almost certain that he did. Kind <laughs> of grabbed some of the big baller brand shoes. The ones that kind of look like Kobe's. So I should just probably just spend like a fraction of the cost and just get Kobe's instead. A player that is actually gonna be a Hall of Famer. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Brody with a hot take. Big baller brand, way too expensive. He says, hot take. And locked in, Pascal Siakam for the Raptors, jersey and autograph. That goes to the Raptors, Ryan Smith. Ninety-six out of ninety-nine. Man, even even if I had big baller brand kind of money, right? Even if I had the money for that, like I just had disposable income just laying around. I mean, I would have to buy everything else I would want to buy before I would get big baller brand stuff. It would be that'd be pretty low on the priority list. You know what I mean? Uh, there'd be other shoes that I'd want to get first, <laughs> like other, you know, like uh, there's other like nice clothes that I could get first if I'm doing that. You know, so you know, I could buy guitars. That would be great. You know, like, like, there's a lot of other things I could do. <laughs> All right. Aaron Gordon. Magic. All right, last box, folks. Thank you so much. Show me the floor with that one. Uh, <laughs> X-Line's hot take is that Lonzo's overrated. I think only his dad overrates him. You know, but I think his dad's very proud of his kids. <laughs> Nice die cut, Russell Westbrook. The die cuts are great this year. Doesn't it kind of look like a bomb? <whistles> Looks like a bomb. Right? Nice. 86 out of 25. Nice die cut, Russell Westbrook. Or maybe a Transformer logo. Doo, 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 doo. Thunder, 
was a late pickup. That goes out to the X-Line. X-Line with a little something. Yeah, I, I, I heard that heard that maybe they were saying some inappropriate things on WWE. All right, there you go, X-Line. Next one is Draymond Green, Defensive Player of the Year, Spectacular Swatches. 122 out of 149 for the champs. Golden State Warriors. Jay Kreider. Did I say 86 out of 25? <laughs> Wait, what? No, that's a 6. Sorry. There's a dot there that made it look like an 8. 6 out of 25. <laughs> it's late. What do, you, what do you want from me? What do you guys want from me? You guys saw it. You guys have eyes. <laughs> You guys have eyes. Did it look? It kind of looked like an eight, right? No. Draymond Green, one twenty-two out of one forty-nine for the Golden State Warriors. Jay Crowder. Next era, Marquise Chris. Nice purple relic in there for the Suns. Twenty-five out of ninety-nine. That'll go to the Suns. Donald Brazier. I see something. This could be pretty nice. Look at this. Wow. Spectacular swatches. Hassan Whiteside for the Heat. That's like a different shade of red, right? It's a four-color patch. 10 out of 10. I give it out of 10. I give it a 10 out of 10. Full marks. That's a nice one. Miami Heat, Jacob Allen. Uh, that gold makes it pop too, doesn't it? Whew. I like Hassan on wide side too. He's strong. All right. Got a redemption coming up. Redemption is, I think he is a, I don't know why I'm blanking on him. Pistons? Or Clippers? Clippers. Bryce Johnson. Spectacular Swatch Autographs Pink. It's a lower numbered parallel there. Bryce Johnson for the clip show. Uh, that'll go to Alex Donnelly. Oh, was he cool? Panther is saying that Hassan Whiteside came to your school. High school? College? Spoke at a class, maybe? It's cool when players do that. All right, just a handful of hits to go, folks. In the zone, Brandon Knight, Jersey Auto, Suns, Neon Blue, 87 out of 99, Phoenix Suns. It's another one for Donald. All right. One, two... Three left, and there I see. I think I see another gold coming up. DeAndre Bembry, Hawks, spectacular swatches. It's a good swatch. Nice on card auto. Twenty out of forty nine. It's another one for James, and the Hawks. Wow, Joel Embiid, two-color patch and autograph. Global icons, Joel Embiid. Six out of ten for the Sixers. That'll go to Jimmy LaFleur. Nice, who took, who took a chance on the Sixers for possible, possible Ben Simmons, but this is not too bad at all either. Isn't he about 6'10"? Nice global icons autograph. And the last one, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. And the last one is a neon green. Wow, nice patch. Chinano Onowaku, Houston Rockets. Rockets going out to James S. 
And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, X-Line saying, well, who got that again? Oh, yeah, Jimmy LaFour might be in the room. Yeah, there he is. X-Line might be interested. That's 8 out of 25 on that, Rockets. Nice break. No randomizers, nothing else to do. We got the other half ready for you tomorrow. Jaspyshobbyland.com. Check it out. A lot of teams still left. So don't miss out. Thank you very much, everyone. This is Joe. We'll break with you next time. Good night.